In this week's Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create a box and whisker plot without the whiskers. You might ask why. Well, this came up in a recent Makeover Monday Viz review. A lot of people had been putting box plots in their views, and I found them to be quite distracting because the whiskers would always go out to the very end. So I had suggested that the, um, the, that the author use a box and whisker plot without the whiskers. But before I show you how to do that, this is a great post, what you see on the screen now, from Nathan Yao of flowingdata.com. And it's about how to read a box and whisker plot. Um, important to know is that it was these were originally created by John Tukey as a way of showing distributions in a data set. So to read a box and whisker plot, so there's a nice little, uh, little view here. You have a, a median line in the middle, then you have upper and lower quartiles that define the 25% uh, of the data is less than or is greater than the upper quartile and 25% of the data is lower than the lower quartile. And then you have the whiskers which go out to the uh, the maximum value excluding outliers or the minimum value excluding outliers. And the reason you do this is because it helps you see uh, the, the whole idea behind this is to see kind of the overall distribution of the data but also to identify outliers that don't fall within the distribution. The additional thing is that it helps show skewness in your data. So as you split the data up by more dimensions, you might see the the uh, the range of the between the lower and upper quartile change, or the median move around, or whatever it might be, and that helps you see how the skewness changes across dimensions. So how do we build something like that in Tableau? Well, I'm going to use the recent uh, data set we used for Makeover Monday for life expectancy at birth. So the first thing we do is I'm just going to go ahead and filter out my null regions because I know those are records I don't need to know, don't, I'm not worried about. And what I want to do is I want to look at uh, just the, just at, let's start by looking at just every five years. So to do that, I'm going to create a calculated field. I'm just going to call it every five years. And I'm just going to do year uh, modulus 5 equals 0. So that basically says, does it end in a 5 or does it end in a 0? Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and drag that to my filters and choose true. And now my year came in here as, as uh, continuous, so I'm going to right click on that and change it to discrete. And then go ahead and put that in the rows. So now you can see I have 1960, 65, all the way up to 2015. So let me go ahead and hide the field labels. So what I want to do now is I want to look at the average life expectancy within each of those years. So we get something like that. But I want to break this down for every country. So I'm just going to drag country code to the detail. And we get a view like that. And I'm going to go ahead and change these to circles. OK. So before, if I go back one step, you'll see they're all stacked on top of each other. But I want to actually display them as dots instead. So let me go ahead and change the opacity a bit. Let me just reduce that. And uh, I'm going to actually want to jitter these a bit. So I'm just going to double click on my column shelf and I'm going to type in random. And that'll help you know spread the dots out. And then I'm going to change this to fit entire view. All right, so now the only issue with this, uh, let me do a quick bit of formatting here. So let me format. I'm going to get rid of my zero lines. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my column, uh, my column grid lines. There we go. OK, so that cleans it up a bit. And then lastly, I'm going to go ahead and uh, well, I'll do that in just a second. OK, so now the only thing I don't like here is how close these dots are here in particular. So they're, they're very near each other. Actually, I need to go ahead and remove that from my tooltip as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually double click on my random axis. And I'm going to change this to go from minus 0 0.5 to uh, 3.5. Okay, or actually I could even, maybe I even need to make it bigger than that. So let's go from minus one to four. Okay, I'm just trying to kind of squish them back together a bit, and then I'm just going to go ahead and hide that header. So now I have, uh, I have my years going left to right. And the classic thing to do now is to throw a box plot on here. This is what we saw a lot of people doing on the average life expectancy. And Tableau gives us a few options here. So we have this one that says the data is within the whiskers extend to either. So if you do the maximum extent of the data, so just watch the screen in the background here. Pay particular attention here to 1995 on your screen. You see you've got two outliers. And if I flip back over to Nathan Yao's site, those, uh, so right now, the maximum goes to uh, one and a half times the interquartile range. But if I, you also do have the option in, in Tableau to change it to the maximum extent of the data. 
but by default it goes like that. Okay, so let's leave it like that for now. All right, so now the thing that I don't like about this is I find the whiskers quite distracting because I feel like they I feel like they hide a lot of the data. So let me go ahead and, and make these even a bit more transparent. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and turn off my include zero so these zoom in a bit more. Now the good thing is you can see the median, which is kind of the middle of the box plot. Uh, you can see that is increasing, so that shows you the median life expectancy across all countries. And you can see the skewness is reduced as well. That's because the band is getting a bit tighter. So here are um, the top of our inter uh, our upper hinge is 70. I'm um, sorry, it's our upper hinge is 64.65 years, and our lower hinge is 43.68. So that's about 21 years. And over here, if we go to 2015, we see it's now at 77 to 66, which is only about 11.1 years. So the, it's, the, the, the range is shrinking quite a bit. But what I really want to do is I want to create a box and whisker plot that does not include the whiskers. Okay, so first thing I need to do, if I go back into my, my um, box and whisker plot, You'll see there's there's no option to basically not color the whiskers. Now I could make them blue, or you know, but but that doesn't really solve the problem. All that does is kind of you know make them look more like the dots. What I want is I just don't want them. So to do that, I need to actually remove my box plot. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw on a uh, median with quartiles. So let's go ahead and drag that. On. We want to do it for every pane. And now, if we look at this, so let's edit this. And you can see what, I'm actually gonna change it to a distribution instead. And I'm gonna make this quartiles. So I'm gonna to go to the distribution section, make this quintiles or quantiles, and we wanna set it to four tiles because that gives us our upper and lower quartile. And on the label, I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna say no label. And I can turn the lines on if I want. And then the fill, let's just leave it like that. And I'm going to untick, untick my recalculate. Okay. And now, uh, wow, those are really bold lines. So let me edit those lines a bit here. And let's, uh, let's reduce the color on that a bit. Make them a bit lighter. And let's make them a bit thinner as well. Okay, I think that's better. So now we could see a better distribution of, uh, of um, we could see that same distribution we had in the box and whisker plot just without the whiskers. Now, the only thing here is that these, these um, the, the boxes, if, if I go, if I, let me just go ahead and duplicate this sheet. And uh, let me go ahead and put the, let me drag this off. And if I, oops, come on. There we go. Let me go back to the box and whisker plot and put that back on there again. You can, what you'll see here is see how we've got a we've got nice gaps between the whisker the the box plots, but over on when we use the medians, they're all touching each other, right? So to get around that, I'm going to do a bit of formatting. So I'm going to right click and on you know, my view and choose format, and I'm going to go to my uh, my. Um, sheet my lines here. I'm going to go to sheet. Or I'm sorry, no, I need to go to my, my borders. And on my column dividers, which is what divides up my years, I'm going to go ahead and make those white. And I'm going to make them really thick. And that gives me the appearance of, of kind of the way that a box plot looks. Now, unfortunately, I can't make them any thicker. So that's as fat as Tableau allows me to make them. But again, it looks a lot better. So you can compare the two and see which one you like better. Um, I, I'm a bit partial to this view now. I think it looks nice and clean. And it's much easier to kind of see what falls outside of the box versus focusing on the outliers. So I hope you found that helpful. And again, the, the whole point of this tip was to show you how to create a box and whisker plot without the whiskers. So that's it. Have a great day.